hello friends today we will be seeing the spark architecture part 2 uh, if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe it so in the today's video we will be seeing the dag in the first video we have saw the rdd park uh, the link to that video will be in the description as well as in the i section so what is dag dag is referred as directed a uh, cyclic graph so in this video we will we'll discuss in detail about the directed acyclic graph so whenever we will um, give commands or whenever we will write code in spark um, it is uh, spark contain four things that is the rdd transformation actions and dag so after the transformation dag comes into pictures so dag is nothing like a flow chart like structure or a process is denoted in the form of flow chart so directed acyclic graph creates a graph based on the transformations so the transformations are the commands in the previous video it is explained in detail what are the transformation so the structure of the dag looks like as follows like this is a dag 0 dag 1 and dag 2 these are the three dags created so here data is the input which is provided like it may be a data set so the data like here is a count transformation and filter transformation so the based on the input of the transformation the tree is created so that we can understand what is the operation we have to perform so the dag uh, it is stored in the cluster so multiple clusters are storing the uh, dag and this dag is created in the memory so you, i hope you are clear with the dag structure so the next part is how the dag dag processes so the dag provides the graph as an input to the scheduler where the there are different stages like in first stage importing will be done next is the filter operation will be performed the dag scheduler provides the input to the task scheduler so task scheduler are located along uh, in the cluster managers and next comes in picture the executor so the task scheduler contains multiple executors and the executors are known as the slave machine uh, similarly as hadoop is a master slave architecture spark is also a master slave architecture so this is the whole process of a DAG. The DAG provides the input to the DAG scheduler. It divides it into multiple stages. Then the task scheduler come into the uh, picture and there are multiple executors in the task scheduler. So this is the basic architecture of a Spark. So as we know it is a driver slave program. So Spark driver provides the input to the cluster manager and in the cluster manager there are multiple cluster workers. So as I told you before uh, spark driver is the main program or the main driver program which takes the input and it provides the input to the cluster manager who are located along the multiple machines and the cluster manager divides it into multiple stages and provides the input to the cluster worker so in cluster worker there are multiple executors as executor 0 executor 1 and executor 2 so these executors perform specific tasks and generates the output so these are the slave uh, programs so uh, the driver is the master program or a driver program and the uh, cluster workers are the slave programs or the executors are the slave programs so the spark architecture is a master slave based architecture so this is the whole idea of a spark architecture so whenever we are dealing with spark we have to consider two things that is the RDD and the DAG. The cluster manager, um, the spark drivers provides the input in the form of RDD and the RDD contains the transformation and the above the spark context is present. So the spark context is the main spark program. And the Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.